A solemn ceremony today in West Suburban DeKalb, people gathering on the campus of Northern Illinois University, marking the 15th anniversary of the shooting that killed five there. Gunman later took his own life, and WGN's Julian Cruz joins us now from DeKalb. Good evening, the university community honoring the five who were shot and killed and the 17 others who were wounded in that terrible attack 15 years ago to the day. You do what you can to overcome it. For me, I've written a book. It's titled One Shot, One Life. Shooting survivor Harold Ng writing a book to come to terms with the tragedy. You could say that it was a, kind of like a dream because, like I said, it happened so fast. Ng surviving with a non-life-threatening wound, but the emotional toll for him harder to cope with. Why did it happen? Like, you don't expect it to. Coming back here on this day helps just to see people that went through it. Patrick Corellis with other shooting survivors back at the memorial site on NIU's campus. The terrible memory of what happened here in 2008 still vivid in people's minds. A guy kicks the stage door open, doesn't say a word, and just starts shooting at us. <laughs> Bells ringing at precisely 3.06 p.m., the very moment when gunman Steven Kazmierczyk opened fire 15 years ago to the day, killing five, wounding 17 others, the gunman then taking his own life. I remember where I was sitting. I remember where I was shot, uh, when I started bleeding. Corellis and all the commotion, not realizing that he had suffered a wound to his head while escaping from Cole Hall as the gunman reloaded. On the campus of Northern Illinois University, Julian Cruz, WGN News.